let's go ahead and get started. Hello everyone, my name is Uthrus. We are in Space Engineers today. Uh, didn't know if we were gonna be in here or not. Um, I am currently in a uh, kind of creative world at the moment. Um, I'm kind of waiting for Silent uh, Night to get home from work so that we can start up the multiplayer server. Um, how is everyone doing? Hope you're having a good Thursday. One day away from the weekend, y'all. One day. And uh, we shall have it. Anyways, I'm in I'm in the creative world here. How's it going, Zippy? How's it going, Nathaniel? Um, to kind of problem solve a little bit of stuff that we're going to run into in our um, creative, our, our hardcore survival world. And that is basically, we have a lot of vessels that we could potentially load in. Like I could load in any of these into our world and they would function probably. Never know what the times two gravity. But long term we're gonna have like a flight bay and a flight hangar and, and things like that. And I wanna try building, while we are kind of just chilling here, a interesting little docking mechanism specifically for rovers okay and what i want to do is our hangar is probably going to be depressurized um at least the flight hangar okay the flight deck but i want to have sub hangers that kind of come down beneath the flight deck to a pressurized um kind of hallway system okay so if you think about it, let's say we have um, a hallway, you know, with some offshooting rooms, maybe for storage and, and items and a little bit of an underground base kind of thing. And then uh, over here, we might have a hallway that connects. This is like a, a representation here to a couple bays that are kind of off to the side and these connect up to the surface. Okay, so picture these as elevator shafts that connect up to the actual flight deck, which would be, you know, here. And then that would uh, probably connect upwards to the surface, okay? So this is what I'm kind of imagining. If, if I do like a little model here, of our base okay this is kind of what i envision it and how it will work okay so these elevator shafts will come down this kind of connecting understory would be um pressurized and then these elevator shafts would be depressurized with the craft waiting so you kind of go through an airlock you would enter the craft go up the elevator to the flight deck um, which you would then take off from the little pad here, go up and then out of our base, okay? So I think that's kind of like the best way for us to get to vehicles safely without us having to worry about oxygen, but then the flight deck itself is going to be depressurized. Uh, you missed what you were working on? These are hangers, kind of. This is like a rough, uh, like one twentieth scale layout here of what I expect, okay? Um, so that's how I want it to work. And I also want this to be the same thing with rovers. Um, long term, we're going to have like a rover ramp. Uh, let's grab like a, a ramp here. Block or something. Stair. Okay. So we might have, let's see if this is in the orientation of our base. You might end up having like a ramp kind of coming out this way um, to the surface, right? Oop. So we're gonna have a ramp coming out here, okay? So in these portions, we're gonna have like rover bays as well, and they'll do the same kind of elevator section. Whether this ramp actually starts at this level or not, I'm not 100% sure how that's gonna work. But we will have like a little bit of a rover ramp to drive down into this 
lower section. And I kind of want to start with a rover elevator because that's kind of like a good proof of concept um, because they're going to need it over the flight ones, right? Because they can fly. They don't technically need an elevator to get up and down, but I think it would be cool. So let's start off with how big rovers should be. And I'm all for standardization when it comes to bases and vehicles and things, and I hope you guys are too. That's why with our creative build series, I have this this uh, flight kind of landing pad as a constant measurement here. And I'm probably actually gonna use this as the same size. I wouldn't mind things to be so standard that uh, everything is the same size. So picture this as our elevator. Um, now, let me do door. I'm gonna leave myself a little bit of an extra buffer room, okay? I'm gonna try and make everything fit within this elevator, but the edges of it, of course, need to be um, these hangar doors because they're generally the best thing suited to make things flush, right? Uh, door, I should have grabbed the blast door, one that I could rotate through here. So this will be um, what actually goes up and down, right? This is what would be connected to pistons. This size. I don't know what size this is off the top of my head. Again, I'm just making it uniform to those. Okay, so that means technically the craft can overhang an extra block on all sides. That way we can uh, have a little bit of leeway because if you come over here to some of my other crafts that I've made You can see that this one overhangs by just like half a block to a block off, off the back end and uh, We just need that and, and most of that has to do with the fact that it's a bit of a snub nose and doesn't really um, You know connect forward a little bit more I could potentially Maybe rotate this connection back a little bit, but this is like a drop pod chip don't forget mirror mode. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's roughly how big our thing is. And so let's go ahead and make the cage that's going to hold it down. So I'm just doing this to get measurements and then I'm gonna delete the uh, centerpiece anyways. So everything will be flush to this, right? Boom. So we'll get rid of that. All right. Good, very nice. And I kind of want to have a walkway of some kind. I don't want it to just be like you step onto the elevator, right? I think that would be a little too claustrophobic. So we're gonna have a one area kind of buffer to this. And I will, I should probably turn on the uh, mirror mode here. If I can remember how to do that. <laughs> it's been a while, right? We, no, it's not X, M. So we'll have a single wide buffer here on all sides. Mm -hmm. And then we'll climb up. Let's just, as an example, you can make these as big as you really want, you know, elevator shafts wise. They need to be as tall as they need to be. Um, for the situation, but we can make it say that tall as my example. Okay, and this is, I guess, kind of where the pistons are gonna connect. 
So we need to know how the cargo, because we need to use uh, pistons so that they can transport cargo down. So what am I building, Silent? Um, I'm building a an underground hangar in such a way that we can store vehicles beneath the flight deck so that we can pressurize like a lower area than everything else. In fact, this is this is why this thing's wrong. It's let me uh, come out this way a little bit. Create like a road. You hear piston elevator encroaching on your specialty? Uh, yeah, specialty, sure. Right, totally. That is totally your specialty. Alright, so, so picture this silent as our 3D model of the underground base portion. So each block is technically, you know, more like 1 tenth scale, 1 20th scale, however big it needs to be to represent our underground base layout in a way. So here is the current vertical shaft, right? That's gonna take vehicles down to the flight deck. And then we're gonna have a flight deck, however big it needs to be, you know, the flight deck can continue out this way for all I care, okay? And then here's the ramp where rovers will come in and out of the flight deck. Um, underneath here, this will be like pressurized hallways and spaces that connect to essentially a hangar that comes off the flight deck and down and you can have multiple of these you can have say like a uh, another one here right that comes down and this lower area can be pressurized and it connects to like this vertical elevator so you get elevator up your vehicle to the flight deck you move it onto the and then up and out okay so that's like what the underground layout is, in a way. I hope that makes sense. So I'm just seeing kind of, yes, aircraft carrier underground, long story short, that, that is what it is. It, basically, it allows us to use, to pressurize the hallways that connect to these elevator shafts. And then that way, because the other section, the whole flight deck isn't pressurized. We don't have to worry about that hangar door up here maintaining pressure or the door here where vehicles leave maintaining pressure. They can just look cool and, and function. Um, and then we pressurize kind of underneath this little lift. Um, there'd be like a little airlock that leads out to here. And then the underbelly of the, uh, the base can be pressurized. Okay, is this dead center? One, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. No, interesting. Okay. Barrier. One, two, three, four. And then piston. Okay, one, two, three, barrier, yes. Mm-hmm, very nice. And really because these vehicles are kind of small, we can kind of do this. Uh, let's do power, just in case it needs a power source in creative. I don't quite know if it does. No, battery, that's gonna be smaller. <clears throat> All right, so we got those. Let's do piston and, uh, I don't know. 
Would you like a one meter a second kind of elevation here? I want to see if I'm going to need two pistons to get to the top. Yes, I will. Okay, and piston here. Doop. Okay. Look, I don't know the measurements on the top of my head. I'm just throwing this together. Connector. So this is what's gonna sit on top of piston and be floor level. Unable to place. Very interesting. Ah, because that connector only has a couple spots. It can actually connect two. All right, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. How many off the side here? We just got a, a double, it looks like. Okay, and one, two, and three. Boom. We'll go hangar door. Last door for ramps. It would be best to use a two by one slope at the connector to make it easier to connect. You're talking about like uh, this. I mean, to me, I'm not really designing like the, the final look of things. This is kind of like a proof of concept more so than a, the final design, but uh, because we can add as much greebling as we need or just do a panel here. So piston, piston, reverse. Make sure it's not gonna clip the wall or make sure nothing breaks. Here. So that'll reverse down to this level, which will have a walkway around it just for ease of access, like I said earlier. Okay. So this would be ground level. This is what where the vehicle is going to stop and sit on, um, all hunky-dory like. And then we can install either off to the side, however you, these need to be oriented. We can like install windows here. Um, you know, whatever we need to do to get this like visible so that you can kind of see into the hangar, see where the elevator's at. Um, so door. Mm. Do I want 
want blast doors. For like the entryway. You know, what would be cooler? So that'd be like the airlock that connects to like the hallway. Do I have any of the DLCs? Uh, I don't think so. It's a cool three by two door. Yeah, you, you talking about the offset door? Cause I don't have that. Concerning the need for pressure agents, my elevator will be controlled by sensors to automatically open and close the doors based on the elevator position and pressure rotation. True, very true. I mean like no matter what, this, this needs to remain closed, okay? because this area is depressurized by default. Um, because this is, this is gonna connect up to the flight deck. Um, and the flight deck's depressurized and there's not gonna be a lid on this thing. There's, there's just kind of no way to do that in a good fashion. So this, this stuff would be pressurized uh, window. Like I don't even have the DLC for like the fancy windows or anything like that either, so. Uh, one by two flat. So this would just have some glass here, for example, just so, you know, people can see the status of the ramp. Okay, and do button panel here for controlling doors. Just in case you need to do like a manual override, we'll go to piston and we'll reverse this. That can come up. Teacher looks up aviation related documentaries. So that'll come up. Um, we can also for safety, right? Because safety is gonna be a bit of a concern for such a thing like this. Um, we can come down And over, uh, kind of over. More like not really over. Let's see the blast door door. <clears throat> see if the blast door can fit better here. Can I get a railing? God, don't tell me that's a that's a modded thing too that I don't have. I was hoping to try and like hang a railing here so that when this thing pops up, it's uh, like a railing comes up so that people don't just like fall down down here. But uh, that's how you know he's out of teaching content. There you go. That's that's very accurate. Just buy the DLC. Look, man, I, I'm not just full of money, okay? I'm just not full of money. Here. I think my food's going to be here in just a second. Hold on. Looking. Severe thunderstorm warning where I live. All right, well, we'll find out. 
If I randomly lose power, you guys will know why here soon. Um, all right. So this needs to come up. here and I kind of want you know again this this may not be the the final height that we make everything right because you kind of never know um, what the final height may be required but I kind of want to see if we can do like a piston door up here that when this thing is lowered this closes to kind of seal off uh, the door and it, and it stays open otherwise, right? Current depth of the hangar is 16 blocks, roughly. Okay. Good to know. Again, this is proof of concept. I I don't need to make this exact. This is this is a. Um, because this is going to need to be pretty long. Okay, eight. One, two, three. Four. So while this is up, this door is open. Because it kind of has to be. Surprise. Mm -hmm. They were closed. Oh, okay. I got pizza today. Uh. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. And then the normal floor sits above it and would connect right up to that. So maybe this would be like the exit or something to the flight deck. I have mirror mode on, so it's just gonna mirror to the other side. Or maybe the flight deck's even this way, right? Because vehicles need to kind of pull on and off forward, like, rather than horizontal. So maybe it'd be more, uh, more like, clang. It was clang, I swear. That was not my fault. And if you think so, you know, I might ban you. <laughs> hey, called it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next year you'll be able to walk around in Elite Dangerous. Yeah, and everyone will be disappointed. Just like they are now with the game. Because they're going to add something that everyone wants, and they're going to half-ass the implementation, and it's not going to go over well. Hey Isabella, how's it going? They will sell it for thirty dollars, won't they? You've been cleaning all morning? I'm sorry. That doesn't sound fun at all. 
Meow. Come here. Hey, little guy. Hey, little guy. Come on. Rawr. Oh, you're so mad. Meow. Fine. Get out of here. Super angry. Cats, I swear. You love the reason cats meow is to communicate with humans? Communicate or just yell at us? I don't know. Um. <laughs> So that would come forward. How wide is this again? Uh, oh shit, it's an odd count. That's annoying. One, two, three, four. And one of them will have to be a fifth one. So one, two, three, four. And then one side's gonna have to be one longer, it seems. For this to work. This would slide into there. What if you did like a sawtooth design and like made them like kind of meet? I could, you know, half of it kind of meets in the middle. You can do that. It's not impossible. Piston. This piston four and piston five. Velocity is going to be negative 0.25. Okay. So hopefully, if I reverse all these at once, okay. So you can see this hanger is going to come down with the vehicle on it and then that's up there is going to close above it just to prevent you know people on the flight deck from from falling in and uh now you can make this close faster you just have to make sure this thing gets out of the way before that this thing plus a vehicle so you have to time it So that'd be cool. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about, guys. Um, how's how's that sound for like our vehicle hangers?
crunch, crunch, crunch. It, it sounds like crunch, crunch, crunch. You're not wrong. At all. So if I reverse this. That's not going to get out of the way soon enough on the reversal side. Hold on. Unless it did. It's trying. They're kind of grinding together right now. Clang is, is going to dictate if this succeeds or not. There we go. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the pizza party stream. Grace. I could just have like another piston here come up with a false floor as well. Like we could dig down and have like a false floor come up. Depending. It's a pepperoni, salami, and uh, sausage. Mozzarella cheese. Um, basil. Salt, pepper. Other spices. Silent, what do you think? Think this is feasible for all of our vehicle hangers? Voice chat. God damn it. All right. I know he's listening to the stream though, because I hear it all the time in the background when he's talking. That guy. Server is online. All right. Mhm. 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 Boom. 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 So you didn't clang apart yet. Almost. I mean, you know, we got a little pinch that, there at the that, end. That horizontal rotor that's rubbing tight against the floor is clang. It's, it doesn't, it's not heavy enough to like bounce though. You'd be surprised. You, you know the blast doors are a lot heavier than the... Uh... Than the what? Yeah, but you need the thinness of the blast doors to fit through gaps. Maybe you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Playing with my brother? No. We're playing with Silent Knight and Nathaniel. Both of them are in the community. We're, we're going to be switching over to our public servers. So if you have space engineers and you want to play, you're more than welcome to join. I mean, the horizontal doors just kind of like for fancy's sake, you know? We don't have to do that one. I'm definitely going to use the offset um, main door. Got kind of the zigzag in it. Cool. Sounds good to me. All right, we will save this real quick. <clears throat> I'm trying to think if I want to try and bring in some of my aircraft here, but honestly, I don't think they'll work in two times gravity planets. They tend to be heavy. Hmm. But you saw the, the drone that I built, right? No. I put two large Atmos on it and it's just enough power to lift a large grid orbiter with battery. Hmm. How much does it weigh? Tell me that. Drone? Mm-hmm. Tell me the overall weight. I don't actually know. 
because I have two vertical thrusters on this one and it weighs 42,400 kilograms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, welcome everyone to the stream. I'm having a bit of pizza, as you can probably hear and tell. But uh, if you want, you can subscribe or like the video or, I don't know, whatever, join. 17.5K. Also, I'm going to show stream this, but it's, I just got a text for a thunderstorm warning. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like outside right now. You guys need to see this. Because it, my lights are flickering. What? That just fell. What do we got out here? What's, uh, how the hell do I open this? Don't so this is at 8 o'clock in the summer. Come, come with me. Come with me, chat. Look at that. It's like, shit, probably on my lens. You guys probably can't see it. It's not focusing. It's like so dark out there. It's already a lot of lightning. So... We'll see how long the stream goes. Field trip going on an adventure. Good thing I'm wearing pants, right guys? All right. Just shut this thing. <sighs> okay. I don't know if you guys could even see that very well. Or not, no, no, holy cow, the camera's not in the right position. Do I get tornadoes? Um, pants are good. Very, very true. Pants are ideal for streams. Are you guys home? You're comfortable up there? You're good? All right. Good. Uh, we can get tornadoes. Not like massive ones like out there in the Midwest. But we can definitely get one. Maybe like an F1. But it's a light show out there. Whoa, forgot I was in this thing. All right, proof of concept is is done. Let's go ahead and join up on our public server here. You watch them pass by from the porch. F3 is the biggest you've seen in person. I don't envy that. I love thunderstorms. But, mm -mm. it wouldn't catch me outside during the tornado. Are we going to put an atomic builder to help with building? Nope. We're playing hardcore survival with a lot of annoying settings. <laughs> so we'll see. What's the Atomic Builder mod sign? Do you know it? Atomic Build? Mm-hmm. Never heard of it. I wonder if it's like Bob. Let's find out. I'm the same way as a bar. No energy. Okay. Why are you in so 
Um, did you leave off in creative? Um, I might have hit the wrong button. Hold on, my game's loading in. Uh, you should spawn in base. Mm -hmm. Mine looked like that as well. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Massive tornadoes are a pretty scary thing for me. Because you just kind of can't see them, especially if the storm's at night. How did I not die? Bob is what you were talking about? Okay. Yeah. Um. Mm. Pizza stuck in my teeth. Um, no, we will not have Bob. Bob kind of makes servers a little laggy. Um, and for the sake of keeping the server running, because it's not a dedicated server. What What is crashed here? What is this? It's a drone that we hijacked. Hijacked or like murdered in cold blood? To be fair, he killed himself because he ran out of battery juice and fell out of the sky. We took what was left. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to convert him into a cargo drone. We put him there so he's out of range of the turrets so that we can leave them turned on. Uh, question about all your massive drills here. Yeah. What are you going to do about your connecting pipe <laughs> in between the... I know. That's going to have to disappear. That's fine. Mm -hmm. We're just setting up a timer block to automate the drilling. You might want to get some oxygen. Uh, tank... Did I lose all my items, or did I put them away? Did I die at some point? I probably died, didn't I? I don't know. Probably. That would make the most sense. So why I'm missing all my tools. Hmm. Oh god, you're just you're just gonna straight up grind into it, huh? You just don't care. I mean, that's one way to get rid of the blocks that are in the way. Clang it out of existence. Wait. wait. Why is it? Should not be. It's going down. I'll be going down. It went down. It's grinding into uh, the pipe. At least on my screen, it is. I'm just trying to set up groups for it to for the timer. It should not be going down. Oh, broke through one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay. definitely going down. Going down, down. Oh. So you have like a pivot arm? What is... Oh, that's very interesting. I like the fact that you have like a piston going up. So you, you kind of compacted the piston design by having that. Yeah. That's interesting. That's almost like a block and tackle. In a way. This planet is funky. Um, I agree. It is funky, it's two times gravity, it's snowy, it's cold, and uh, we're probably gonna die. This is a death trap. Don't fall down. Not as bad of a death trap as the uh, elevator. What, the one that I was designing? No, the elevator hole that we dug. Oh, well, yeah. Definitely a bit of a, a bit of a doozy over there. So what needs to be done, Silent? What should I just go ahead and start welding up the hub, or keep laying out uh, stuff? Well, anything around the hangar we can't really do until it gets drilled out. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I guess I'll just keep laying out. Stuff I think right now the layout would be good. Or maybe you see if you could do something with that tower to make it look better. Uh, I don't know. It looks a little unsalvageable to me. Just cut it off. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Well, sweet, dude. There's a sparrow that's attacking. Fuck. A what? Okay, we have sparrow. ammunition. We have yeah, the ammo. I know, but I'm getting iron. Oh, he's attacking you. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to run. 
Yeah, I'm gonna see if. Yeah, but the spur is the one with the turret on the top of it. Remember, it's the ladybugs that we don't want spawning. Yeah, he almost took out one of the, uh. The birds. Yes, it's the birds. So it's. Yeah, are you in a phone booth right now, getting surrounded by a bunch of crows? Or ravens? Can you travel in between planets? Yes, you can. Holy shit, that well, was some cool. close lightning. Well, I see the thrush up there. There you are. So Isn't that out of range? Nope. For manual control. Fleeing. What a puss. Always oh, coming back for me. My back for seconds. <laughs> what are you using to shoot? Beat OKI. Uh, the one on top of the uh, tower? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have as much range as the other one, but it's a little bit more powerful. Okay, balance. Um, did we ever repair the solar panels that are currently sparking and exploding? Oh. Okay. We need Ed. <laughs> Where's Ed when you need him? <clears throat> alright, alright, alright. Uh, work on layouts. That on an old signal just kind of crashed there. Wow, okay, the sparrow's almost at base. Silent. Yeah, the turrets should automatically pick it up if it comes in range. It's one kilometer out, 900, 800. They ain't, they ain't picking up shit. 500. Still ain't picking up shit. It's here, and turrets don't give a fuck. Where is he? Oh, shot off a wing. Oh, it's going down. It's sliding. Yeah, the point defense really just doesn't have a good range on it, does it? Point defense is a 1200 meter range. No, I'm talking about like angle. Oh, no. It doesn't that have a good angle. Uh, let's do character tools. I'm just gonna go ahead cut this thing down. Excuse me, I'm gonna salvage you now. Inventory full. I'm gonna take out that. I'm gonna take out the Inventory AI block. If the, if the AI block is destroyed, it's basically out of commission then, right? Remote control, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, my representation of Assert has dropped by 15, 20. I'm like losing so much rep with them right now. Repetition with SPT though has increased by a lot. Cycle. Tank. Good. Now the question, is your door script going to affect like the elevator pistons and stuff or no? Or would, pistons, they, no. would they have to be marked as like a door for it to do that? I'd have to specify it specifically. Oh, and for the annoying. pistons it won't do anything. I'm gonna start welding this up a bit, just so that it, like, doesn't get one shot. Energy low. Energy low. Do I have... No, okay, it is it is taking planks. Good. Computer's in the shop. How's your computer in the shop, man? You, we need you here to repair the solar panels. They are damaged. Timer should be set up. 
They are damaged and they need your help. Today. With a small donation. Oh, oh! Oh, that works perfectly. Does it? What's it do? So, basically every 60 seconds, it lowers the pistons for two seconds, and then turns them off, and then reverses the... It'll just swing back and forth every 60 seconds. Oh. I mean, this is going to do like a half circle dig. It's not really going it's, to. It's going to dig a. 80% about of it. 80%. <laughs> it's like we both crunch numbers in our heads. It's like, it's like, uh. For now, is more than enough. Very true. And that's going to get us a lot of stone, so. Are you sure you want to be standing on the thing when you're grinding it? Oh, you weren't. Darn. Uh, it's stuck on its own piston. What is? The the drills. Like, it, when it swings over all the way, it gets stuck first. So when it gets down a little bit, it'll be clear. But, uh... Um, it does have a rotor limitation on it. Yeah. But, it, it can only swing to maximum 75 wow. degrees on that angle. Or at the other angle, angle it'll go full of... Uh, when it all right, we lost Ed for a while. His motherboard fried. GG. Rip. Yep, have some chat for Ed. Uh, it's all ogre. Thank you for the, the respect there. Holy shit, man, that lightning's some ridiculous. God, I love automation. Automation's gonna be super important for us if we wanna get any headway on the base. So while that's going... I'm gonna just queue up steel plates, cause we I just queued up 5,000 in one assembler, so if you wanna queue up some for in another one, that'd be fine. It's, uh, Zippy oh, doing? Be oh Zippy's things. working on the solar panel. Thank you, Zippy. You're a badass. Well, in, in number two, I'm gonna queue up con, con mats because those are something that we burned through really. Good. Yeah, sure. Do like four thousand. Is two pistons gonna be enough for that thing to go all the way down? It's got three pistons. Oh yeah, because the river. It's actually more like, you know, two and seventy-five percent, two point seven five pistons, right? Well, it actually needs a fourth piston when it's all said and done, but... I mean, we'll deal with it at that point, I think. That's also why it's on a rotor. Yes, very true. Because I can detach the rotor, add a piston, retach. It's almost as if you've done this before. Very lovely. My concern is going to be running out of storage for stone. You don't... We're going to be oh, yeah. it so that we can get rid of it. Uh, should we build some more basic refineries? Let me check the current processing. What's affecting my hydrogen? So my hydrogen, I can't fly. This is a two times gravity planet, so my hydrogen literally doesn't do anything for me. There's we no point in using it. We have a million, like a quarter million stone already in, in the large cargo. We need either probably three or four more refineries, or at least one more large grid or large cargo container. Um, I'd rather chew through the materials rather than try and store the materials because the longer it takes to chew through it, the... Uh, wait, know. wait, wait. the hell? What? You'd only went halfway? Yeah, that's not good. That's... I mean, you'll get at least a quarter of it done, right? <laughs> no, because then what's going to happen is when it swings around to the full extension, it's going to get stuck on something. Did it, did it hit the wall over here, maybe, and got that's stuck? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, go ahead and get rid of some of that plate. Yeah, sure. Quickly! You don't have much time! Oh my god, that is so scary to watch. <laughs> like, you're barely keeping up with that. Alright. Now, it could also get stuck on a little pebble, right? There, are, There's no little pebbles over there. I hope, I hope not. Because even I can't fix that. I'm a lot of trouble. Fine, man. 
pissed and it'll just sit over there until the timer tells it to move. There we go. Yep, went down. So luckily, it's I, not, I, I, it's, it's not dropping by very much per pass. That's intentional. Yeah, well, you don't want it to accidentally, you know, if it did that once and it dropped a full meter, then the whole system breaks, right? So. I think it set to drop by about a quarter of a meter. I'm just watching it and making sure it doesn't uh, get hung up again here. Okay, I think it might be fine. God, this is getting so much stone. You might want to get out. Are you saying I'm in danger <laughs> down there in the mine? I'm wearing my hard hat though, man. So, I set the, I, I, I copied this whole play world over to another save and create and drilled this out. <laughs> so you're doing it twice? Why? Why would you do that to yourself? Partly I wanted to see what would be a good way of setting this up. Like that would be material efficient to do and partly to see how much stone I would get. Oh boy. Alright, let's 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 get some, uh, you'd say about three basic. It was roughly basic. two million stone I think it was. Yeah, we, no. we need more. We're going to have to set up refineries externally because there's no more room inside. Refinery. Think Basic I'll just refineries. Slap a couple of over by the uh, other words. I mean, you're saying there's no more room underneath the base? but then we'd still have to remove it to install the elevator door. I'm just gonna slap a couple over here temporarily. Where's over here? Over where the tree is up. Oh, uh, yeah. How well do they connect together? Oh, they connect together, okay. You'd say two on each side, just to keep it minimal? Ow. Guys, when this when this base is built, it's gonna look so good. And then we'll probably quit. <laughs> we'll build the base and we're like, alright, we're done. GG. It was fun. Get rid of the one in the way and build the first one first. Oh god, what happened to the ramp? Grinding the crap out of it. Motor, motor. Why is my camera in your ankles? It's not in my ankles. I don't think so. I feel normal. Mm, all right, we'll just start welding up some of these. So we'll want to get this thing pressurized at some point so we can start using this hallway instead of walking all the way around. Really low, basically in the ground. Maybe it was just stuck or something. I, I have no idea. Sometimes, you know, as medieval engineers, it's weird. It does its own thing. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. It says <laughs> because two times gravity, you're supposed to be super short. Uh, yeah, something like that. I think. Oh, how dare you sit down at this desk? I built it. I built it. Yeah. I'm the host. This isn't some sort of TV show. No one cares if you're the host. How's the base look from above? Looking good. I'm happy to report that the solar panels are still smoking. So it's lovely. In the afternoon sun. Okay, good. 
Mm -hmm. Vertically challenged. Very vertically challenged. Much vertical, many challenge. How are we doing on plate production? Are we able to keep up with what, how much I'm using here? No, not really. Two times gravity, excessive digging, sounds like a dwarven world. It's, uh, yeah, we're, we're actually playing, uh, uh, what's, what's the fucking game? Dwarf Fortress? That game? Yeah, we're playing Dwarf Fortress right now. Don't worry, we'll overthrow the kingdom here soon. And then we'll probably get killed by like some sort of vampire account that gets loose. Who knows? Yeah. Oh wait, no, we have like a thousand. All right, we're good. Fucking money right now. Are you wanting an elevator for this entire hangar section? So that when the door opens, it just lifts up? No. This this hangar section is just an empty tube with a door on top of it. There's no elevator on this hangar. It's beneath. So, so the hangar and the hallway underneath there that connects to all the landing spots and parking spots, that is the flight deck, okay? And then we will have... Um, what is flying back there? Anyways, um, we will have a an elevator system to bring ships down off the flight deck and down to a lower little like parking spot that then connects to like a pressurized hallway or the, the actual underground base. Does that make sense? Like that's what my little model was trying to portray. Like we have a vertical launch tube that's not pressurized and a horizontal hallway so that vehicles can move that's not pressurized that leads to the vehicle ramp for the rovers as well and then we have docking bays to the left and the right that are like elevators that we would park on and it would get kind of sucked down and then that connects to the pressurized stuff or that's all like super overly complicated for no reason who knows i think it's cool I just like the idea of Nat being able to park on the flight deck itself because I don't want vehicles to like cause jams by being there and also um, they're technically safer by Nat being on the flight deck. And I don't want people to be running around on the flight deck either, really. I want it to just be like vehicles only kind of space. I can tell you're just thinking to yourself, "Is like, do you realize how much I'm gonna have to dig to get this all in there?" And I'm gonna be like, "Yes." The answer why, is yes. Uh, why I automate the digging? It appears one of our wind turbines is shut down as well. Did it get shot or something at some point? Looks like it, cause it's it's a little sparking. Uh, it's smoky and not spinning, and we're under attack. Oh. Guns? Are you gonna actually do anything? No. They, they're not doing anything, man. Target, small ship. I mean, it's set, but it's not doing it. Something just blew up of ours, huh? What is blowing up? Is that our solar power that's dying right there? Probably. Uh, can you control anything? Because I can't. I can no longer control the Yoki I but it's disconnected from the group. And the other one doesn't have range. Fuel. I'm going to connect, hopefully, the OKI one real quick to the grid again. What I'm going to do is just make it somehow. Okay, connected. All that effort that that he just went through to repair. <laughs> Whoa, that sucks. Light it up. Is 
The other one's in range. It went off chasing something. Uh, me. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, it's a big one. God, we suck. Why aren't they auto targeting, man? That's so much I, I don't know. I can I can understand the point defense one because it it needs to be within twelve hundred, and usually when it's within twelve hundred, it's too high, so it can't hit it. We're getting shot at over here now. Yes, it's back. It's back. It's back. Stuff is blowing up. Oh god, that's gonna crash on the base. No! <laughs> oh. It landed on two wind turbines and took them both out. Yeah, you got like halfway to me and then just turned around. It's still requesting assistance out there. We might get more spawns. Oh shit, it spawned a squid. That's not good. Is it on its way over? No. Uh, yes, it is. It's 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 gaining. I don't Man know turrets. If it's going towards me or you guys. It's like two kilometers from me. Uh, it's kind of just chilling a bit out there. Uh, I think okay, it's coming so to it's you. It's it's diving yeah. you right now. It's definitely going for me. You need to get out of there. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> On the flip side, if we can take the squid somewhat intact. So I've, I've got about 70k of iron on me. We'll get it over here. See if we can't shoot it when it's in range. It's about one kilometer out of range for me. How's it for you? Uh, one and a quarter. It's just tailing me. Oh. It's getting further. Yep, it switched to us. Oh, it did. Sweet. Alright, it's too high now. I can't aim at it. Ah. We got it. Should start. No, we just got the, the antenna, I guess, didn't we? There's many thrusters. It's pissed. I'm hitting center of mass. I'm surprised we didn't cut it in half. Coming back to you. Oh, God. Does it have a turret on the bottom? Not anymore. No. Okay, cool. Because this thing is pretty much a skeleton rover. It's got nothing on it. Do we have enough ammo to keep doing that? Suddenly you're glad you're not here? Yeah. I've Let's... got another... the damage report kind of like here ah uh, shoot we lost like uh, a quarter of the hub I got uh, refineries that are offline over here Where is it? 
Did it just run away? Uh, I don't know. Tara was shooting at something. Yeah, I see it way, way out there. Dude, your rover, I fucking love it. It's literally just like, I, I cargo things. Nothing else. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I don't know where it is anymore. I can see it out there, but like, it's... It's so far out there that I don't think it's coming back. I gotta move the silence rover. I think we need to get some more turrets up. And we need to repair the pirate grid. Yeah. Well, I got some iron ore. There's a thrust off have in the distance. Of lots of iron. We've been drilling a big hole. Yeah, I know that part, but I was already out there. What we also need to do then is maybe build some remote. Yeah. Right, some how's, kind of how's the upper area here? It's pretty rough, huh? How's the pipe to the rover bay? Is it actually still fully connected? Looks like it. Happy to report, at least it didn't hit, you know, everything out here. And Zippy's vehicle's destroyed. <laughs> Poor Zippy. I'm sorry, man. Um, what's the best way to get up on top of the solar grid? We don't have like a ladder or anything. Oh no, we do. We do. Got it. One rudder's broken. Now I have hiccups after all that pizza. Call me uh, Repairman Uthris because I'm going to be repairing everything for a while, it looks like. Dude, I don't know how we didn't shoot that thing down. I really don't. Because it has, uh, what was it, eight large grid atmos holding it up. It was that big? Yeah. It didn't like well, look that big. Eight, eight large small grid atmos. Oh, the base used the power on the rover. Damn it, I can't move it. Jump mine? Yeah. I have to charge it for a bit. I mean, I'd say just leave it and get to repairing. We've got refineries that are disconnected and offline. We've got... Okay. I think it's up to this pipe. Oh boy, we need a lot of solar cells. Guns near the power seems sensible. It does. But I mean, the guns have power, so. I don't know why they're not auto target. No, he's saying he wants turrets like out at the solar panel. Not that the guns don't have power. Oh! Maybe we'll put a vanilla one out. Yeah, maybe that'll still auto-target. Unless, I mean, does his mod change it to where they don't auto-target? No, because his turret's in his world target, but he's also using vanilla turret. True. Not a, a vanilla Gatling turret, but uh, even if we just have to manually load it for now. Mm, look at those manly arms. They're like noodles. They're just loosey-goosey, aren't they? <laughs> Every time I, like, I get showered with sparks just by standing by the solar panels. None of them are online anymore. And the base appears to be completely out of power. 
from a battery standpoint. Something has disconnected the pipe network inside the base. Something could have pen um, penetrated down there. I'm looking to see what we got. Was there just like one connection point that's like holding the whole damn thing together? So hooked in through. So some. Oh. I see some of the refinery is. Um, Disconnected, it's yellow. Okay, so that's directly connected. That's fine. Plate. times gravity wouldn't get super buff uh i mean it depends you know i don't think two times gravity would make you know, like crazy much stronger right because i mean like it, it would make you stronger but you would be about as strong as you were on one times gravity like in terms of like yes you could lift a uh, maybe a little bit more weight but uh that weight would be proportional to the gravity i would assume So you would have to go to like a 1G planet to uh, really gain the benefit? bunch of solar cells not really and yeah, we have a turret right beside the solar cells is that the okay one it's just not yeah shooting. I mean neither, neither is the fence turret anymore it was like a while ago I mean, honestly, I kind of like that in a way. I don't like automated turrets in games, so the uh, hardcore survival guy in me is just like, oh yeah, this is going to be way harder, more interesting, because I have to like man the turrets myself. If anything, we need a turret over my Nathaniel setup. Uh, so there's a break somewhere in between here and the assemblers. Good to know. I wonder if it's above the uh, mine or the hangar. Oh. The upstairs connector does not have access to the basic cargo container or cargo. I found inside, it. I so... think. It's this pipe. There's a single pipe here that's broken by uh, the drills. Needs uh, two motors on it. Does that work? I just heard a bunch of things turn on. Did that uh, fix it, Nathaniel? Oh, one second. Running back. Let's see. A bunch of things turned on, and I'm, yep. I'm just you. hearing the power just be like, ah. Do, do, do running out to the solar array or what's left of it Keck Fuck fucking keck 
Let's see here. Let's see if YouTube's actually working today, guys. Um, how many people are currently watching the stream? 21? Is, is that actually working today? Is that how many people are actually here? Raise your hand. Press one if you are here. Hello. My name is Uthris. Hope you guys are having a good day. All right, Strong Hammer, Tutori, Benjamin, hello. I, I've been having trouble seeing the actual viewer count on streams for a while. Like my my comp my uh, stream information says like three people when there's actually like m way more than three people watching, you know? So I'm just checking that more so than anything. Don't I have motors? Like why aren't they, why aren't they welding that? I don't know, they dropped off, okay, good. So I just want to know, like, how many people are here. All right, cool. <clears throat> yeah. So right now, like, I restarted my computer today um, because before the stream, everything kind of died. Um, hey, Wallaby. And uh, so right now, it says 21 people watching. So I think that's accurate. It sounds like it would be accurate, but uh, you guys let me know. If it isn't. C21 as well? Good. Something just exploded. What was that? Do we have that hostile back now that we shut off the antenna? He's almost more dangerous than he was. Oh, I see a, the turret trying to target something. Which turret? I don't know, but it's trying to target some of these crashed ships over here. The like new one? Uh, the crashed ship that you have that's left over here from like a while ago. Like this maybe one. that's why. Maybe that's why it's not an auto target. So it keeps trying to shoot that, but it shouldn't be able to. Yeah, because th doesn't it prioritize like close targets? You can change them. Should be able to change the priority list. I think it just might be a good idea to start scrapping these. I'm going to start working on that. Plus, it will get some parts out of it. I think I'm going to use the container that's out here. It might be quicker. Nathaniel, you may want to take that drone that you're going to convert and actually convert some hack okay. parts so it's under your control. Got it. Your win YouTube window says 22. Cool. Te attempting to... Relax and follow the next door kid is screaming. It's 1 a.m. Um, we may need to consider a second solution. Ah! Fall asleep. Ah! The the base. Is that helping? Over where the living quarters would be. I hope that's helping. Mm-mm. <laughs> There has to be something on this thing that is still powered. Energy on what? On this vessel that it's targeting. I don't know what it's trying. Because normally when it normally when it's like powered down, it won't target it. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing some try, pruning. It'll still try and target anything that's owned by an enemy. And all of its power blocks should be in the middle. Well, yeah, I just had to cut it, cut it out. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. All right, I'm almost out of power. I need that. Energy critical. Energy critical. Death imminent. Solar 
pandas look like? They just got lightning all over them? Yep. Yeah. Looks like outside my window. game. I need to be able to keep taking my shortcut. Where's the pilot guy? Not sure. You wanna ping him and see if he's gonna play at all? I mean, he might be at work. Nah, true. If you try and get all the components destroyed, uh, Nathaniel. All right. Inventory full. Like they don't have to be fully grinded, just enough to where it's not going to target this thing. It tends to be under the hack lock. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. to see if it's targeting. I'm not seeing any targeting reticle at the moment, so that's an improvement. Hopefully that helps. Maybe we need to build a grinding pit. Yeah, maybe we need to build like a little rover to pick up these things and like throw them in there. No need. The, uh, I carried that drone from three kilometers away with the drone that I... Oh, your drone is actually powerful enough to do that? Barely. So what you're telling me is we don't need one yet because we have enough power, but if it's something big, we will. Yep. Another three meters to go and the hole will be done. Or at least dug to that depth. We or are salvagers. Extended. Salvage engineers? Mm-hmm. Watch them to scrap mechanic engineer. Very deep hole. It's the holes of holes. So weird. It's like the grinder doesn't work sometimes. Like it has a hard time grinding something when it's like a half inch away. Like if it's just off by a little bit, it won't do it. Why I miss Bob? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, quite an evil laugh. Kind of strange that sitting in a chair gives you power. Um, I mean, like, you know, it, it connects up to your suit, essentially, um, because I'm a businessman and, and the desk gives me power. I just saw the turret trying to select this other wreck too. So we'll go ahead and grind that down. Inventory. Kind of misleading with idle movement on. Well, no, I'm, I'm actually seeing the little red at reticle that shows up on, like, hostiles. I'm not looking at just the turret movement. It's gonna turn nighttime for the rest of the fucking stream. 
I am afraid. Energy low. Dude, how many batteries did you cram in here? Like, why would you do that? To make sure it can fly. I mean, just, the one just use a bigger battery. Do. Why do you use small ones? Inventory I mean, maybe you wanted to keep the profile small? Yeah, I mean, that's part of Inventory. I mean, like, this one that basically Inventory. fell out of the sky because it ran out of power. Well, luckily, the holy hole. You just book it out of the hole? Yeah. Careful. Dang. That's, uh, that happened real quick, too. At least, yeah. you know, quick enough to where, like, we were running around and not paying attention and it's already basically done at that depth. Yeah, every 60 seconds it goes down by another... Point three meters. Uh, let's do a tank. To be almost done. We'll have to form up the scaffolding work so that we can get up and down safely. Ish. <laughs> as safe as you could possibly do in that situation. I think I might today force the sun to kind of reset to the morning just so that the stream can see. Like after it gets dark, you know? Like, I, I don't consider it cheating too much because we technically have power, everything's running, so sunlight's not really going to be a, a cheaty thing. It's just giving us more power. Incoming. True, very incoming. Fresh incoming. If that new turret I built helps it. 4.6 and... Inventory space, it's rough. We need a cargo container piped out here to the solar grid, I think, long term. Like something to access the, the uh, cargo system for easier and quicker repairs. Well, normally I would have just built a cargo system into the tower itself. I mean, at least out here to the base. I don't think you'd use it for the tower itself, because it's a pretty vulnerable block. No, because I would use it for the tower itself, because normally I'd put a turret on the top of it. No, very true. Where'd you put the other turret? The new one. Oh, further past the tower. Further past the tower? Away from the towers if you're leaving base. You can literally leave base from any direction. Head towards the tower, just keep going straight. One, two. Other way. Oh, 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 I see it, I see it. Okay. Okay. Um, let's do component. I set it up with its own battery, so should it get disconnected from the grid, it'll still have some power. Did you just 
thought Silent Night just called me babe. Thanks, babe. I'm glad I'm not a super popular YouTube because that would become like fan art, and that's no good. That's no good. All the pistons are done drilling this hole. That's good. Oh man, my nose is so itchy. God damn. Maintenance. I will say it's definitely interesting to not have hydrogen so that we are forced to use like ladders and elevators. I kind of really like that. But well, we I have mean, hydrogen, it's just. It doesn't lift you off the ground. It'll stop you from falling, but. Two. All right, so we have three solar panels back online. Dropping off all these construction components. Guess we need girders. Girders. Are, are you saying our power grid actually got damaged or something? Oh yeah, quite critically. Power flows into the piston, but it's not flowing. Oh, the battery got damaged. No, it's fine. I mean, even if it got damaged, it should still carry power through it. Fuel critical. One of the pistons got damaged. All the construction components are good. I need a large steel too. Energy low. Energy low. You have created fan art before and you can do it again. That's scary. That is just scary. Don't don't show me with udders again. I might be uh, a little scarred after that event. I think it's stuck on something. Down into the hole. Oh god. That'd be scary. So oh. start building that scaffolding. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Have fun with that. I will be not doing that. Mm -hmm. Uh large two. Oh, we don't have any. <clears throat> okay, ten large steel tubes. We've got some plates. Just, just some of them here. And I still need some... Long time no see, Derek. How's it going? What's this game about? Oh, it's just space engineers. We are trying to survive in a very harsh world right now. Trying to survive from uh, dying t from too many uh, drone attacks and and other fun fun people showing up here. Dude, this rover got shot. There's like some bullet holes in it too. Are you sure it's just not fully extended? Oh, it's definitely extended. I think it's actually stuck on something down below. Oh. Well, unstuck it, man. Oh, so. Well, once I build scaffolding, you get down there. Let's get some oxygen. Sweet. 
Ah, shit. I'm so thirsty right now. There should be shit on the water. Because that was like 200. Drink. Thank you. Boop, 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 boop. All right, now the airlock, and here we go. Okay, there's no floor there anymore. Noted. Yeah. Back to repairing our solar panels. Definitely need more power. Pieces. From where? The hub? The scaffolding, yeah. So, uh, now that I know. Oh, yeah. A little bit. I mean, they're not super strong, so I'm not surprised. Maybe Consider it's... they're only made with a single steel plate. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think about it, I don't know if they have to just hit the grid or if it actually has to hit the middle bit because, you know. Oh, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did I fall? Um, but if it actually has to hit the collision, um, then maybe it's just harder to hit and it kind of lucked out in that sense. But I doubt it's going to be that accurate of a collision on that thing. What is it? Including Rive. Oh, Vanilla shit. drone. It's a space pirate drone. Like, does it sort of. I'm trying to get to like a control panel here. It's under one click out. Oh, it should be in We're shooting at it. Are we? Yeah, I think the one by the solar panel is shooting at it. Or no? Yeah, yeah, it's shooting at it. The I'm, one by the I'm solar panel. Near a sea right now, so I There's a fleeting see. rival here too. Oh, only the one by the. It's like straight, straight above our base right now. The OKI okay, didn't shoot. Only the vanilla turret shot. It's crashing now though. Uh, I just took up my drone. What? Yeah. That horse. Oh, it just shot your drone? Uh. And it looks like it landed on top of a uh, basic assembler. Shot down. Yeah. Man, our solar panels are holding on. Hey, uh, sorry, what's new? Uh, we are dramatically under attack and we are losing. We are like losing this battle, it feels. Does it feel like that? Poor defenseless drone. Hey, Fezbo, how's it going, man? Welcome. What mods are we using? We are using a lot of Splitsies, uh, hardcore survival stuff. Um, we are using some modded pieces, like the OKI weapon pack. Um, otherwise, for the mods, I think we have it linked on our Discord. So if you want that, you can find the mods there. Okay, we might need to do a hard shift to defense, because holy crap, these drones are coming in a lot more often. Well, we must have hit that threat, that magic threat level. Yeah, we hit something, and it's definitely hurting. There's so many drones. <laughs> 
Everything is so silver looking. You on the moon or what? We're on a, uh, an ice world. Should be grateful for one thing, though. What? At least for not fighting Lucas's drone. Uh, don't say that. Don't, like, tempt fate, man. Well, the mod's not even installed. We're never gonna see Lucas instructions on uh, drones. At least not yet. His drones, I feel, are better suited for when you're in space. You know, it's pretty hard to repair the solar panel when it's rotated to 90 degrees. Just figured I'd let you know. If I get shot, or if I take damage, does stuff in my inventory break? To scrap? I don't know. Because I had, like, solar grid stuff on me and things, but now I just have a bunch of scrap on me. I don't know where that's going. Is there oxygen up that high? No, there, the oxygen is basically non-existent in this uh, planet, so. Um, yeah, we, we go through a lot. Dude, auto dampeners suck. Stop. If, if the game wants me to uh, constantly fly, then I'm going to turn off my jetpack by like draining all the fuel. Freaking game. And then it's gonna complain about having no hydrogen. That's fine. I'd rather complain about that than just throw me off the solar panel a second time. That'd be great. Don't laugh at my expense. How dare you? Come on. Okay. What do I do here to fix some of this? So you're gonna make like two or three more turrets? Vanilla? I think if we might just replace the OPI and the point defense with it. Gotta miss this game, I want to install it. But don't remember how to get to the planets. I mean like, uh, if you join our faction, you just spawn here kind of deal, so. Um, you know, and again, it's a public uh, server, so people are free to join. Uh, we have about 10 slots open, so. Um, definitely join if you want to. Help us suffer through this trying time. To what? To the uh, drills. Uh, it is. The corner one on the top is damaged. It's off. So you're saying the drills might just be full and. Yeah, that's why it's too heavy to get lifted. It's just a little thick. Mm-hmm. Chonky boy. Repairman Uthras on the job. Also, that means we're not refining any of the stone down there, too. Probably. I just put a bunch of iron ore in, so... No. Well, at least we're getting iron. Yes. Iron is super important. Progress. Alright, now, are you gonna drop me off? No? Good. All right, solar cell. I think I need people to help me repair these solar things because I'm making no progress by myself. There's just too much, too many parts. All right, sounds good. On my way. Um, we need girders for the most okay. part and solar cells. Oh. 
God. Oh? I'm done. Oh, well, that's fine. The, uh, base doors flung me about a kilometer and a half away. Well, at least you got to see a good view of the local area in Fauna. <laughs> that's true. Take a left at the Wachamakala, head for the reddish thing until you get dead on on the alien on the left. At least yep. I only, like, died on the first impact, which was 300 meters. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's do girder. Actually, I might be able to get all the girders if you just want to bring solar panels. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Get off. God, the micro rubber banding in this game is so frustrating. Because everything is like an input delay. You try and move forward and it doesn't really happen and you hold it too long and then you're like over the edge or something. No, oh, repairman Zippy's here. And the repairman Zippy's having the same problem where I was where it's just turning on your jetpack at the top and then you get stuck. Oh, ah! Oh my god, he fell on my face and knocked me off. It hurts. Zippy. Careful. The pain. The suffering, the agony. Fuel critical. Okay. We good. So that solar panel's online. This one's online. That one needs computers. One of those rotors isn't working. That's fine, because if it was rotated like the other one, then it wouldn't be walkable right now. So we wouldn't be able to repair it. was that? Does someone repair the rotor? <laughs> what the hell? Why, Clang? You fuck? Did you re <laughs> Did someone, like, rotate the other- Oh, I think because it lost tracking. And, like, the other panel reset to neutral real fast. And it, it fucking destroyed me. Where's my backpack? The solar panels have none of your bullshit. Just no, need it's need really you. not. Like, it's kicking my ass today. Alright, maybe we should repair the other rotor now. So it can go to neutral. And I need to go make new tools because apparently my back, my body, like, found my body, backpack, gone. Doesn't even exist anymore. It got, it got knocked into uh, next week, it seems. Fuck. Got yeah, all because your script, you. To be fair, pilots only install the script. To be fair, it, you're you're usually to blame. I blame you. It's the only uh, consolation that I have. So let me have it, please. My out of grinders, yes, production. All of our batteries are dead. Yeah, everything's dead. My drone wasn't destroyed. I could use it to lift, carry all a uh, cargo container full. Well, you know, 
If if only. I feel like that's half this series, right? If only X. <laughs> if only X was a thing, Just we would be okay. Two computers. The other ones fixed. You talking about the other rotor? Yeah. All right, I'll bring computers. We also need them anyways for the uh, solar panels. You may want to get off the tower for a moment, or hold on to the ladder or something, because it's gonna, it's gonna twitch. It's gonna twitch real hard. Oh, you made it daytime again. Good. Stream visibility. Important. Yes. Nice. Missing some girders. Some of these panels. Gird girders. Lots of gird. Gird. Girders, computers. Oh, yeah. I need all the things. Well, you know, I had girders on me, uh, and then the solar panel decided to yeet me off. Uh, because it didn't, it wasn't accepting my love. It's really what was going on. But I'm bringing like 300 computers, which will be enough to top, should top all these panels off. We also need to build new panels too. Because some of these things are holding on by like a breath. Oh, fucking God. Well, you don't have to worry about it eating you this time. I put on the rotor lock. Ah! Ah! Fucking come! <laughs> Forgot to lock that one though. <laughs> fucking! <laughs> you, you as well? Yeah. I'll be the whole tower. I was, fucking I like. On the I was on the ladder when it killed me. I mean, it, I luckily just fell straight down, but like the whole tower fucking wiggled like a cactar. So, you know. It, okay, I was on the ladder and it threw me 600 meters off the ladder. Apparently, even with rotor lock on, it's still gonna yeet you. Well, yeah. It's fine. I mean, I lived, so. The fact that I died on the ladder. Well, I mean, probably because it just. Honestly, but that was probably more dangerous than where I was. Because the, the, the thing just. Don't worry about it yeeting you. Yeah, I know, right? Fucking Simon's fault every time. It's always him. I just to quote that. Yeah. I wish this was Twitch because that's a clippable moment right there. Yeah, it'll be on YouTube. You can clip it then for an editing. Yeah, I'm lazy. I'll do it for you. All right, so we need girders and solar panels for the most part out there. And I've recovered my corpse. Uh, I think the airlock's broken. Awesome. We're probably out of power. Yeah, it's not turning off one of the doors, so just be careful on your way through. We're out of We're out of what? Then we're probably out of power. Oh, uh, yeah. It's offline. That's weird, though, because the refinery isn't, like, you know, freaking out over it. Please don't move. Please don't throw me off. I'll die again. You know why it's not working? Because you turned off the wrong... Uh, I didn't turn off anything. Program. I didn't touch shit. You turned off the wrong programmable block. You're the one that killed oh, that me. Was me. My bad. Nope. No. It was silent. 
It wasn't it, you, Nathaniel. You're innocent. Pilot put Izzy's solar script on both programmable. Oh, okay. So he confused you. You're right. Let's go ahead and blame Pilot because he's not here. Easy scapegoat. I disabled the alignment script until repairs are done. I grabbed a whole bunch of solar panels and just immediately turned to scrap in my inventory. I'm very confused now. I have 64 on me. Let's see what happens when I go up the top. The problem is, by the time you're done climbing the tower, half of your three oxygen bottles is consumed. Yes, it's it's a it is a an issue for sure. Oxygen. Can we just uh, go ahead and oxygenize the outside? Can we just, you know? The trees on this planet are slacking. They really are. Girders to bring them online. I'll be bringing some over. Is your machine flyable yet? And we have incoming thrush. Is it actually incoming or coming or just going by? Possibly going by. Yeah, it's kind of going sideways. I don't think it'll come come close enough. We have. Are you building a second rover like that, uh, Nathaniel? Uh, no. I'm gonna build a miner after this one. Oh, just I see another long boy rover over there. Oh, it's mine. Oh. Hurry it up! Hurry it up! Get off the damn ladder! For some reason, I just picture you cutting the base of this now. Just causing the whole tower to fall over. It's like, ah, eh, just make him suffer. I'm putting on the rotor block because we don't need this thing spin. Uh, it can spin. It doesn't matter. We're good. Tower prayers are done. Construction components got damaged again because of the whole shaking thing. Yeah, we need uh, we need solar cells out here and some construction components. Cargo network out of here. Look, we we need many things. So any airborne options for you guys? Move via air instead of ground? At the moment, no. Uh, it's two times gravity. Our, our airborne option got destroyed by some douchebag drone. Yeah. I mean, normally in like no, the normal engineers, you know, we'd be using our jetpack uh, a lot, but uh, we decided to make it harder. Poor little drone. I mean, honestly, I like the idea of having to build scaffolding and, and the logistics behind it. Like, this doesn't bother me. It's just a little chill. It's fine. Hey, the drills are back up to neutral. So, the drill rig for the elevator shaft has disappeared. Has it disappeared, or did it just fall? It uh, probably just fell. What's with the random chairs everywhere? Eh, you know. We're just in the country in West Virginia right now. It definitely fell. I mean, it probably just got shot off. Like, you know, we're missing a big chunk of this thing at the moment. It's fine. Because I, I think... I needed an excuse to get rid of it anyway. I'm having a block party soon. Yeah. 
Don't worry, I'll, I'll start the uh, yard sale as well. It's definitely going to be interesting once this thing takes shape. There's a lot to make on this, though. Feel critical. May want to consider replacing the Okiai turret and the point defense with vanilla. Um, yeah, I suppose so. Get the fuck off me, you dumb piece of metal. Get out of here. I'm tired of your shit. Nat, silent trying to kill me. It's just other things. Everything else. You'll join if there's funnel cake. Hey, you know what? Go ahead and make yourself a funnel. And then bake yourself a cake. And there you go. You'll get some funnel cake. Or just make a cake in the shape of a funnel. No. No. God, if Zippy falls on me, I swear. I swear if Zippy falls on me here. Get up there and just turn off your jetpack. X. X. There you go. Oh god, he fell off! Did he hit you? No, he fell off going forward. Come on, Zippy. You had one job. Oh my god. We stole ourselves on this side of the so we can get these all operating. I only brought 32. They're heavy as hell. In your yeah, well, I brought some other things in case we needed it. I brought some spare construction components. Because I thought I saw a couple that were low on it. Appreciates the Oots stream. Thanks, Pilot Man. That's why you're a member. That's why you're cool. Okay, this one became online. Components for these. Still need girders, right? Yeah. I don't think we need any construction components. I think we got that all covered. We need girders, computers, solar cells, um, and that's it. We got girders and solar rocky. At least every okay. girder that was produced. I mean, it's only 12 each, so if you have over 100, then you're probably fine. <clears throat> Those things you make in batter lines in the deep fryer and dusted with a ton of powdered sugar. You could just gravity drop and then quickly grab oh. it. gravity drop and then. I'm not gonna listen to you anymore. I'm not gonna listen to you. Because I rubber band when I do that. Like I hit F and then it's like a mage trying to do the whole land and blink at the last second thing and I just go back up 20 feet and fall. <laughs> So, no, not gonna do that anymore. It's just not worth it. Not gonna work. This is why it would have been better to have a staircase that wrapped around. At least have more than one person in front of You know what? Don't like you. Alright, so computers. Uh, so I'm gonna bring more solar cells. I can still carry more we than that. We still need the glass so that they can... I mean, do we really care about taking it to 100%? Less likely they get obliterated. I mean, is it though? It's five bulletproof glass. It doesn't make them really that much more durable. Every little bit help. Mm hmm I think the biggest thing is we just need to have defenses that can take care of them. Well, everything I 
Chinese yeah. girders. Yeah. Cool. I'm bringing computers and uh, some solar arrays. And the new one's being built to have all their girders. Now it's just solar. Lots and lots of solar. We got a ladybug inbound. It's gonna fly directly over base, probably. I need to get shot. Fuel critical. And then take control of the okay. Computers are done. Ladybug spotted. Uh, is it aggroing onto us? Not yet. So what are we trying to build other than losing the fight with solar panels? We're trying to build an actual base that's defensible um, and self-sufficient so that we can then build, hopefully, a large carrier type craft to get off world. Okay, that's gonna be in range. Well, maybe not. I mean, the ladybugs always stay up there pretty high, don't they? Usually. I mean, what's the range on yours? The OKI? A thousand. Just a thousand? Mm-mm. Here, I'll go, I'll go ahead and give you guys a little bit of an eye, a tour of what we have planned. So, the big hole that we're digging here off to the center right of the screen right now, that's going to be a uh, large hangar tube, uh, kind of a, a flight deck that's going down, and that'll connect to the underground hangar system that we're going to have underneath the base. That's where we're going to keep all of our vehicles so they're safe from overhead attacks. Um, also, there'll be a ramp for ground vehicles yeah, as well, clear. so ground vehicles can stay safe. Uh, directly to the right of that hole, that kind of amalgamation of towers, that's kind of the control center. So there's going to be uh, a flight control there and an air traffic control tower, um, just for looks, because I think that'd be cool. Um, probably we'll have a turret or two on top of it as well, just that's a good point defense. Um, there'll be an armory kind of near there. Um, and then bottom right corner will be probably med bay and then at the bottom middle here that's kind of the hub there's going to be an elevator down to the hangars um we were right. there and it'll also connect to the factory to the north and then the living quarters off to the west we haven't built any of the living quarters yet um, the factory is just on the northern side, and then the solar array, we might end up getting a second solar array at some point. So that'll be kind of our layout. Fuel critical. Have you had a heavy attack on your compound? Yeah, we've, we've been repairing the solar grid this whole stream because we've been under attack a few times. Um, for sure. In fact, if you guys want, I, I do have a picture. So if I go to Discord, our, commu our wonderful community Discord, I go to the Space Engineers channel. I roughed out a small blueprint thing. I took a screenshot of it a while ago. Uh, so it's going to look like... that so here so everything in red is that militaristic stuff so this is the hangar and the, the vertical tube that's being dug out right now uh, here's the flight control here's the armory attachment near there um, this area underneath is just the hangars underground most likely 
uh, the ramp coming out of there for the vehicles, the hub, uh, med bay, we got the factory, we got the solar power array, we got a living quarter away from the base, um, and also an additional power source potentially in case this gets damaged. So this is the overall blueprint. It's not really to scale. Um, it might change a little bit, but that's kind of what we're shooting for. And then when we have that built, we'll build uh, essentially a large construction zone to start building the frigate, which will take us into space and uh, hopefully carry a few small vehicles with us. So it'll be a huge build in itself. It'll have jump drives. It'll be hydrogen thruster base as well. So it'll run off a lot of ice and uh, need a lot of thrusters on it. So wheat. Yes, various uh, wheat. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Solar. Do we need, still need solar panels out there? Probably. Okay, I'm reading another 65. Forgot how deep this game can get. Oh yeah, that's, you know, there's so much creative stuff that you can do in it and mods just only add on to it. Now, if only they had, you know, uh, grid sharing, people would be able to make a lot more compact and probably cooler designs, don't you guys think? Like if a light didn't take up a full uh, meter by meter area, you could put a light and a control panel together? <gasps> That'd be amazing. It's no. almost no compound building yeah compound building you know the the thing that they wanted to do years ago that they said that they were going to do that they never did but it's a feature that's in the abandoned wear <sighs> you're abandoned wear that solar panels online Okay, get there. Can you re enable the uh, solar script in the tower? I mean, it's still level enough that we can walk on it. I just don't want to be up there when you actually enable it again. Just uh, make sure to spin everything at like 10 RPM while he's up there. Just turn mm. the rotor lock off. Okay. Make the program on. There's a unmarked ship in the sky out there. I think they want to yeet me into space. Hey, at least I'll get uranium while I'm out there. Make sure I fall on top of the base so we can loot it. Mm. Where's that going? Going somewhere. Oh, good. The door script is online again. Lovely. You uh, sure all the panels are free? Mm -hmm. Luth, your teammate sounds like a controller from NASA, very formal and abbreviated. Cool. I don't know if you're talking about uh, 
I don't know who you're talking about there. This is either Nathaniel or Silent Night. Mm -hmm. I've got a groundwork laid out on the floor for the flight. What, what? In the hangar. What about groundwork? I've got a lay for floor plan laid. And everything below that, this is going to be the pressurized area. I want to try and get a, a location so I can start drilling the ramp. Because that's the next thing I'm going to drill out is the ramp. Oh my god, all the solar panels are online. We did it. 10 out of 10 effort. Team speak? No, we're we're on Discord, and, there, and I'm here with Silent Knight and Nathaniel, so I'm with two people. If it was just the guy talking, that's Silent Knight. If it's the other guy, that's Nathaniel. No, I'm not getting them to 100% screw you. I'm, I'm done with that tower. I'm done. Never again. Don't you dare recommend that. Discord, whatever. I mean, I'm a Ventrilo my fan myself over uh, TeamSpeak. Okay. Plate. Statistics, okay. We're producing 817 kilowatts on the solar panels. So that's pretty good. We're at 97% efficiency on that. No batteries found. Here's our, our batteries gone. Uh, No, we got batteries. I don't know why it's saying no batteries found. I just recompiled the script. Nope, still says no batteries found. It's weird. If I donate another two dollars, we 100% them. I'd rather you become a member than donate two dollars. Look, I, I just want to unlock a new emote slot there, chat. I want you guys to have more emotes and more fun things. But possibly. I won't say no. But I also won't say yes. Mm-hmm. If you make my thunderstorms go away, I'll become a member. I don't like thunderstorms. Um, they'll be gone tomorrow. There. I told you when they'd be going away. Uh, and I am the reason they went away. Problem solved.
do, 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 do. Look, he didn't he didn't say for them to go away right now. And also it takes some work for me to like go go down there and deal with the storms, you know? Can't do everything at once, you know. I can't deal with it while I'm streaming. I mean, that'd be multitasking too much and I can't do that. Core hub getting half destroyed. You still just beat up over that? The little drone was expensive. We're fine. Can't just remake it? Kind of wish you had Bob now. Me? Yeah. Did I blueprint that drone? Probably not. Rome wasn't built in a day. Exactly. Last night, the one sounded like a gas tanker exploding. Maybe it just was a gas tanker exploding nearby. Maybe it got hit by lightning. You don't know. So that the base floor of the flight deck? Fuel critical. Yeah. And so we'll have like a hallway going off to the side where the vehicle gets parked and... Drone incoming, ladybug. Yeah, it's not gonna aggro us too far. Shook the whole damn house? Well, you know. I think I need to turn off, like, are they set to target neutral, the turrets? Nope. Couldn't be. I'm gonna go double check that. If they're on neutral targets, then they're gonna be shooting our own stuff. It's off. is under two clicks. Does it have missiles? It shouldn't, no. I'm concerned about the drone that it can spawn, though. What does it spawn? Just death incarnate? Or so annoying. Is it that big one that we failed to shoot down last time? No. Uh, so, the way I understand it is that the drones that can spawn is based on the threat level. The more threatening you are, the more evil the drone is going to spawn. Okay. Because our one engagement lasted for so long, I think that's why it spawned the octopus one. We have one and a half million stone still waiting to be frozen. Well, you know, we did lose some refiners. Let's get some motors in here. 
We're really low on components. Where, is, where are they all going? We have two assemblers, so if you need to queue some up. I mean, I queued up a whole bunch of plates. But I'm going through a lot of them because of the, uh, you know, how much they, they freaking take. these refineries plugged in but they're not doing anything are they actually fully plugged in is the sorter causing an issue because it's no because the sorter was designed to just drain the drill that's it oh i think the conveyor oh. they're connected to oh. is broken we have a power problem we do yeah because the programmable block is tripping out and the blocks inside the hub or area here are have no power. Hmm. We need to produce more than we're consuming. <laughs> what? That's a that's a notion. Nah, I think we're fine. Let it ride. Fuel critical. I mean, was someone docked up to the base draining the power? Yeah, I think Zippy was draining his ship. No one over here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we have enough power to uh, dedicate to charging vehicles right now. You might have to build your own like solar panel on top just so you can charge uh, without draining the base. That might be ideal. Tomorrow's Friday, everyone. What are y'all gonna be doing? Anything fun? Interior plate, construction components, small steel two motor. Tubes. Gotta go into work tomorrow. Everyone's working. Yeah, but after after work, guys, you, you going anywhere? Yeah, going on a picnic? Like, come on. Or 
charging our battery. Okay, good to go. All right, is this thing actually working now? No. This is conveyor sorter. Sort. It's this one. Drain all off. Are you sure? Sure, because like these these refineries that you put above this conveyor sorter where your drone was parked, I'm pretty sure the conveyor sorter is just preventing things from flowing up to them. Shouldn't. I don't see why it wouldn't do that. I mean, the green arrow is pointing downwards. About ninety percent sure it is. Cut it out. We should make a new solar tower. Oh my god. Work the hangout with friends, new board game to play. Oh, that sounds cool, Vig. What kind of board game? I am cutting it off and Not sure of the name, but it's but it's a tile mystery type game. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yep, fixed it. So that'll hopefully help get through stuff. Zippy, if you're gonna put want to put turbines, you want to make sure they're high up in the air so they get maximum draw, but they're not very power efficient compared to solar. Yeah, I would say um, if you want, if you if you do want to build turbines, uh, you can maybe rebuild some of the ones that are broken, that are like at the top, of some of these spires. That might be good. Yeah. As for new ones, they need to be basically completely clear of any obstacles. Otherwise, it'll generate power. Yeah, because things are blocking the wind. Kind of feels like we're back to square one where we first start. I mean, granted, granted, we have a giant hole now, so that's progress. How do you get up and down there? The spot where we're gonna drill out the ramp. Ah, oh, I see the little. I thought you were going to use scaffolding to get down there. 
I tried. Couldn't place anything underneath. No. And now that I'm down here, I could place scaffolding. Inventory full. Fuel critical. What kind of color should we have for the base long term, you think? Hot pink. Hot pink? I think colors need to be dictated out. by... By... By sector, so like industrial will actually be like industrial colors. And Kind of a dark gray and white for most Which of my could stuff. Be military. It could also be. Why are we making so many construction components? We have like 1,500. Because they always get used. can't ask about color scheme without you saying cow colors. Um, not accepting donations at this time for uh, color schemes. Should we should probably keep some more large steel tubes. I don't know how many of those we have. So, what's kind of our biggest weapon that we can make? Currently? Mm -hmm. Like a, the biggest turreted weapon. The Okai or Okai 50 mil burst, one that's sitting up on top of the thing. If you want to unlock the next one, which is the 120 mil assault, you need to build. The 122 mil fixed assault cannon to unlock. Can you share your uh, blueprints? Any progression? Yeah. So we need to make the OK 122 millimeter fixed assault cannon. Yeah, if you look at progression and then scroll down the tree, you can see what what you need to build to unlock things. So the 230 millimeter battle cannon is. Or. Needs, those need super Oh, it does. So the assault gun turret, huh? The biggest that we'd be able to actually build and use will be the 122 mil. Let me just follow the progression tree and see what mm -hmm. we need to craft. I can see. So. I wonder if we should make a missile turret. We can't build missiles. We can't? Dose day. Nope. Dose day. Miss missiles would require platinum. Oh, that's space. 
Fuck. My OCD is kicking off with a scrap around that chair. Uh, <laughs> well, you know. It's just like a, a reminder of how much we've been under attack is basically what this is. Can't even make ammo for the 122. Shoots uranium rounds. Precision shells. Mm-hmm. The OKI 122 mil assault we can do. No, that's good. Hyper X cannon shell. Hyper. Mediocre X, I would say. More, more. Sorry. Clang involved with our petty squabbles with the drones. Like, he's already still upset at me with the whole, uh, you know, solar power array. I think he's upset because you abandoned him for Lord Winchy. Lord, Lord Winch? I mean, it is, it is our Winch and Savior. Let's be honest. Glad just jumping on two times gravity makes my character like grunt. He's just like, ah, this sucks. <laughs> Sounds like Doom Guy. Like the original Doom Guy. Energy low. Hey. New blocks, yay! Happy days. Now we can make the 122 mil assault, assault rifle. Or assault gun. Or the... That's a big... That's a skimble. Mm -hmm. That's a skimble. 45 degree arc. It's like a side turret. Yeah. It's designed for... Like broadsides. Yep. But we need to build it in order to unlock the next one, so... There's a... What's the OK a large designator unit? Was Does that like to kind of manually aim turrets all at once? No, you need a script to do that. The designator, I believe, is, think of it as like a camera. Well, yeah, but secondary purpose, target designation for custom turrets or derelict locator at up to 3,500 meters. 
need OK designator chargers and conveyor connection to operate. <laughs> but that's what's needed in order to activate the auto fire. I don't think so because they were auto firing before, unless the, they just updated the the mod potentially. I mean, it would kind of make sense. They can't shoot at something that hasn't been designated. True. Very true. Kind of hoping we get attacked again soon, just because I want to shoot something. <laughs> It's not like we have like a ship that's combat worthy to go out there after him anyways. We're on a public server? Yep, we're hosting a uh, public server at the moment. So, uh, if you want to do some hardcore survival, well, you're welcome to join. Mm -hmm. Can I add another row to the solar array, or is that bigger than you want? I think... Um, I... That'd be I think too much. The size it is now is good enough. Can you join on I Xbox? No, we have mods. I don't think you can. I wouldn't want it to get too much bigger than it is, especially with the heavy gravity. It's a tendency to hold. Sorry there, champ. Mm-hmm. How about a parkour you have to do in order to navigate this space right now. Okay, so that unlocks the broadside cannon. So should our big ship just be like a tall ship with sails? Alright, now we can build the assault gun. Nice. What's the range on that? Grid assault gun turret. Lack of range is more than compensated by ridiculous firepower. Okay. So it's a stubby. I mean, like, it could be lack of range for its size, but not necessarily lack of range in terms of, like, it actually has a short range. You know what I mean? I wish I'd install it. I don't know. Replace the uh, current okay one down here. Because this one got shot off, I think, right? just now like earlier so like we have a spot up here that we could use uh, I just need to grind off some of your destroyed drone how big is the ship is pilot pros donated twelve dollars and thirty four thanks by the man this was a um, connector means a lot uh, this is a I, I don't know what was originally here, man. I, I just know it's all scrap now. Oh, it would have been a connector here. Well, it's gone, so. Three. Because it's a three by three. Ah. I'll push the scrap off. Do I play NASCAR Heat 4? I do not. Um, I mean, I have a steering wheel and stuff, and I do play the occasional driving game, but I, I don't have any NASCAR games. Um, I did have iRacing for a little while, but uh, currently no driving games. Mm-hmm. 
What one is this one? This is the 122. Has a range of 1,000. Now, is it a cannon or auto turret? It looks like a cannon, like a it proper cannon. It says high rate of fire. It says high rate of fire? Apparently. Hmm. Mm -mm. My day's doing pretty good, John. How about you? I haven't played a NASCAR game since I had one for the GameCube. Got boring when you won 15 champions and you sure you how to go bankroll oh, 1.8 million. Yeah. Billion, billion, not, not million. Jesus. I mean, you know, if you if you want to get in like serious We're racing, then out of iron. I racing is kind of the thing. Are we? Oh, okay. It's waiting on the refinery. Like we have it, it's just refineries are overwhelmed. Oh, we should have lost. There's three thousand there. Mm-hmm. No idea. Okay. I know what the problem is. We, what we need to do is implement a cargo system that just forces everything into one cargo container so that it's always available. So you think, like, everything's just full? And it's not moving things around? It's kind of being lagged because it's not being able to access things efficiently. Essentially, if you use a sword to force all the components into a single cargo container and then immediately put the assembler attached to the cargo container that has all the ingots. Yeah, true. select the weapon like the the casement it says requires 122 mil assault shell this is the same ammo as the turret i just built and we can build them. yeah type okay 122 assault shell so that's part of the mod the one of the mods that are... if you look at the point defense cannon it just tells you it uses nato rounds it also tells you how much ammo is loaded and how much is in reserve. How did you angle this thing? Did you, did you point it like straight up? Is that the casement? If that's the casement, well, then yeah, I just yeah. pointed it. Because it only has a 45 degree arc of attack, so I just figured I'd point it straight in the. If it hit something, it hit something. Good range on the uh, 122 assault shell in terms of like movement, you know, gun de depression is pretty good. So that's nice. I can aim almost straight up. Can you go ahead and back it up and make it like early morning again Just so we can see? Oh lord. Perfect. Fuel critical. Mm -hmm. Go build a designator somewhere just to see if that's what it's needed. Sure, give it a whirl. I mean, it requires ammo, I think, to use, so. Gotta go for this a bit. Hopefully, we'll be back before the stream ends. If not, bye. Alright, Isabella, you have a good one. Uh, if I don't Maybe see I'll you. get rid of the point of defense turret and put it there instead.
like the point of vents isn't actually work, it's a shame because it has a really nice model. The hub will uh, have its kind of armor kind of welded up here soon. At least the, the supports, so that'll be nice. Hopefully we'll have to worry about it like getting I guess, uh, blown up again and cut in half. It's never really fun. Seems kind of plain. Kind of what? Plain looking. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be plain looking. You ever thought about that? Huh? Why are you so judgmental? Just because it's not up to your standard of beauty? Come on, it's 2020. I mean, it's got a 9,000 meter range. Damn. We're not going to need anything more than Click. Oh, God. Come on. Well. That red laser, you? It's from the designator. Is it? Is it designating? I don't know. I mean, we might have to just wait until uh, something comes into rain. Uh, well, that's scary. That made a noise. Don't do that again. <laughs> You're like looking into my soul. I don't like it. What's it pointing? Oh, it's pointing at a drone. The designator? Yeah, it's designating a drone. Mm-hmm. Now, are, is any of the other turrets pointing its way over there? Well, the, only really. one that had, the only one that has ammo is the one way up in the top. I wonder if uh, the designator is almost for, like, other players to see what you're shooting at. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe. I mean, a single craft of a turret gives it a thousand rounds. So. Yeah. Well, it's targeting the turret. On this thing, it's already been dead. Yeah, already partly ground grounded down. I mean, it's, it's got plenty of components inside there. That's probably uh. Critical. So it's targeting specific blocks. Mm 
thought what was a reactor. Gyro. Uh -oh. Did you do like a little bit of a happy dance for a second? Kinda. No reactor components, what? Just intact reactor. Well, this is going to be problematic if that uh, designator is going to be constantly targeting that. Well, we can just turn it off for now. Just turn it on when something comes in. Yeah, just see what it does. It'll probably still target the closest thing, so that's a bit of an issue. Let's set for 2,000 meters. Yeah, but the way the AI targeting always works is that it just targets the closest hostile because it, it considers, it deems that the biggest threat. I kind of wish it would target like the highest PCU uh, grid. You know what I mean? Because that would imply that the highest PCU is the most dangerous. Got a ladybug 3.37 kilometers out. It's actually pretty low to the ground, but it's not coming towards us. It's kind of just way out there. You know, I think that's personally like use, using a full block for this might be a little too wide. I kind of want a sleeker design, so I'm going to grind this back down. I don't think that was going to look good. I'll probably use half walls and put a door in it. That'll probably be better. That way it's a, it feels a little bit more open on the, the hallway here. a something like that huh Can you build an offset door here? Energy low. Where are you at? I'm in the hub. Uh, there should be a, a spot for a door. You'll notice it on towards the branch, towards the hangar. Bloody ridiculous. Mm -hmm. 
Come on. Well. Well. Things I have to do to try and get things built around here. I feel like I need like stilts or longer legs. You would think after installing like some of these weapons onto the base, it would consider us a bigger threat. Maybe they're just scared. I mean, don't say that. Did you blame them? Uh, no, because they shouldn't be scared. They outnumber us. It's coming together nice now, thank you. It's definitely taking somewhat of a shape. At least the foundation. We still have a lot of detailing to do on this thing. Someone driving around? Not me. I hear like a constant engine going. You know? Maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe a welding ship mechanic car. Um, that would be viable in Nat two times gravity. I would find. Um, Mainly that, you know, uh, by the time you load it full of construction materials, it's going to be so heavy. And the amount of thrusters that we need to make would be pretty intense uh, for such a thing. We might end up making one once the base is a little bit more established, just because we might need it to build the giant uh, frigate. But well, if we're going to do something like that, it'd probably be a, uh, a welding V-tool. Yeah, it, it would be like... But even then, like, the, the problem with welding ships over, like, say, like, an automatic builder thing is welding ships don't really reach the nooks and crannies very well a lot of the time. Like, when it's, when it's like, one of those, like, rotating uh, um, plans and it's, like, welders all really close to it and then pulling out. With bases union one, it's really cheap. I mean, again, two times gravity uh, is, is currently what we got. So. At the end of the day, it's that gravity that really gets you. Yeah. Like, do you mind if I spawn in a ship real quick just to show them? It's probably best if you just take yourself up in the space, or are you looking to prove the gravity? I'm looking to prove the gravity. I'm like, I'm just gonna fly away. Like, I can't, e I can't even use my jetpack, chat. Like, this is, this is me holding space with a jetpack. Yeah, actually, space bar puts you into the ground faster. Yeah. I found if you want to fly with your jetpack, don't use your space bar. And just treat it like an airplane. Mm, yeah, it's still, still not really great. All right, uh, that should be far enough away for now. Um, let me spawn something in here. It's actually like a functional ship. So this is actually like a functional miner here. Actually, I'm surprised this thing is flying. The lateral thrust definitely isn't enough, even though they're small thrusters. Try filling it up. Oh, uh, stopping's not good. Yeah, let me let me put some stone in it because it's a minor. A little bit of a test here. I 
How much did I put in here? I mean, that's only 11k stone. I mean, honestly, it still kind of flies. And I kind of like the driftiness of it anyways. Uh, the momentum is really hard to kill. Ooh, okay. Try the light scout ship here. See what that does. Probably ain't gonna be much better. So this one, if I'm flying straight, I'm really just going down. I have to really angle upwards. Even that's not stopping me. Nope. This is I just going to crash. This one's not flyable in this gravity. I wonder if the Fury will fly in this gravity. Oh, I... Well, it might. I mean, it's pretty strong. Um, what else do I have? Scarab. What's this? One of my old mining vessels. Oh, let's find out. All right, I need, I need to come back to base. How do I teleport my character? Is it control space? To yeah. Good way with rush inbound too. It's coming in fast. We got a thrush. Okay, cool. Some combat. Come Yay! In. All right, let's uh, get to some turrets here. Ladybug seems not What's the with the ship. giant boulder of stone? Why is there a giant boulder of stone here? I don't know. Whatever. Combat. All right, yep, combat. Battle stations, here we go. You're going to be taking my seat, aren't you? Uh, what turret do you want to use? Well, for starters, I want to see if the designator tells the other turrets to auto fire. Sure. Oh. Oh, that that was shooting. me. That was me. I'm in the 122. I want to see if the designator can get it to auto fire. It's out of range. The designator should pick up here as soon as it's under 2000. There it is. It's been designated. Crossing assistance. Oh, it's a drone. Just came out. It's a squid. Got a squid. It's that speedy little bass. Uh, the the one hundred and twenty-two millimeter is out of ammo. How many shells did you make? I was in the process of making forty rounds. Uh, uh control. Should have ammo. No, it said it was out. That's because it all went in the casement. Hold on. Yeah, I switched to the casement just because it uh, it, it was able to shoot. It's going down. It's going down. All turrets have ammo now. Oh god, it's sticking straight up. It kind of looks like a walker. Alright, gonna go over to grind it. Or, well, the turret's just gonna fucking light it up. That's what it's gonna do. This planet alien, it's like a, it's the alien base, for sure, but, uh, it is, it is custom. So we're using, uh, Splitsy survival mods here, so. Hardcore survival. I'm gonna go test if the Fury can fly. 
I'm gonna go sure, like give it a whirl. Try not to leave a mess. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna go far away. That way, trash cleanup can deal with it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think the squid wrecked someone's vehicle. Um, yes, it 100% blew up, I think, Nathaniel's long boy. Yep. No. Yeah, it cut, it cut her in half, man. I, for, oh, okay. This is well, the downside of the long boy design, right? Yeah, I need the parts anyways. I'd rather it shoot that than the solar panels, so. That's true. Alright, paste in the fury. Kind of want to see this real quick. Where did you run off to? Up three clicks. Uh... I'm sure I'll see the North radio when it pops up. Right? <laughs> oh, wait. Of course it's gonna fall because it has no power. <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Place it on the land and give it power before I can. I don't even I can... see it. Hold on, that's because I deleted it real quick. Can I go oh. orbital? If I place it in orbit. I can give it power and then repay. Okay, I actually gotta turn off the creative tools if I'm gonna be running around. Maybe I shouldn't have done that when I'm about to run out of oxygen. Well, run. The only reason I think the Fury might have a chance is because it does have hydrogen. Uh... I mean, it'll it'll have a chance as long as it has hydrogen fuel. It should be. I am thirsty. My guy is super thirsty. Ammo and hydrogen is online. Oh, you got it up? I pasted it in an orbit so I can actually turn it on and not have it fall. I'm going to back to me. I don't see it. I'm teleporting myself. Oh. How far in orbit did you go? Jeez. 800 kilometers. 800? That's a little excessive. I just held the shift key and scroll wheeled real quickly and it just launched. Yeah. I think it's we're still getting some thunderstorms over here. Three inbound and three. Two. Oh god, it's streaming something in. It's still streaming it in. Where is it? It's falling! It's falling where? Uh, it, it doesn't have a sensor, so I can't... I can't even see where it is. It definitely does not... All the Atmo and all the Hydrogen, it still could not fly. Okay, well... Experiment finished. Delete it before it hits the ground. Sound like someone's stomach? Yeah. The, the sky is... It's hunger. It hungers. It, it's trying to, to fly. Trying and succeeding are two different things. Um, the question is how heavy is it right now? Like how fully loaded is it? It's oh, probably fully loaded. That's why. 1,000 missiles, 10,000 rounds of ammo. What? You overloaded a ship? You've never done that before. Guy who builds small ships out of heavy armor plates. I mean, it's only got 2 million platinum. Eight. Only 2 million. Definitely delete it, just so we don't get those materials. I mean, it's moving when you try and fly it. I mean, is it moving or is it just falling with style? Since it's on the ground and I'm spinning it, knocking over trees. 
Oh, well, that's good. And it's good. I mean, I would say we needed those trees for oxygen, but uh, doesn't seem like it. On the flip side, it didn't fall apart when it crashed. Yeah. The uh, what it did was put Ooh. a couple craters in the ground and leave some Where scrap metal behind. That's it. Probably the Hey, I'm just curious is our what I'd have to big complete. refinery now hooked up? Right now? Uh, why would he try to refine? Well, I'm just curious, is it not hooked up or not? Cause no, it's hooked in. It just doesn't, it just doesn't refine stone. Okay, I'm just making sure. Because there was just that open connection by it, so. That was one that... When you were running uh, it across. Right now I'm building a drill rig that's going to go over to the elevator. Sounds good. That can get dealt with. Okay, tell you what. I've been streaming for a while now. I need... I've been three hours. Yeah, I need to, uh, you know, still work week, so I can't stream for like six hours like we did on the first part here. Um, so we're going to be ending the stream here, everyone. Thanks for coming out and checking out the build and relaxing here on Thursday. I uh, hope you guys have a good f upcoming Friday, whether you're working or staying at home. Who knows? Um, otherwise, feel free to subscribe for more creative goodness such as this. Hit that like button. Become a member today if you want to. Don't have to. Isabella made it back just in time, by the way, to say goodbye again. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. And thanks, uh, Nathaniel and, and Silent and uh, Zippy, for coming out today. Um, it was fun. So, say goodbye. All right. See you guys.